Hey everybody, you know who this is, this I this, and Zephyrnix, Zephyrnix, you made a video explaining everything about your last, little, what everybody's been calling a troll video. There's a reason why I'm making this video, and I'm going to save that by the end of this video, so let everybody speculate and figure out what I ha what I have to say up till the end but I'm going to have to do this video in the end of the video you'll realize why but anyways and you'll probably even see a couple of pauses here and there except for Nick's did a uh, talking about the reality of his video. So, let's, let's let's go through this video point by point. What's going on guys? Zephynix here and wow, let's talk about this PlayStation 4 DRM video that I actually posted a couple days ago and it's hilarious because you got people out there, PlayStation fanboys getting all mad. They're like, oh, what is he doing? That's that Zephynix guy. <laughs> and then you Good point. You got people who actually are, it's funny because people who are trying or grabbing videos from other people and trying to post them as quote unquote ownership, here's the problem. Those videos are actually incorrect. They're actually giving off wrong information. So you got PlayStation fanboys so mad. Yeah, pwn those PlayStation fanboys. Especially this guy. And, of course. Truth be told. But let's go back to that video. They're, they're grabbing videos with wrong information, posting them, and owning themselves. I yeah, he's, uh... He was talking about this video, which... Pretty much, it did explain that how the uh, guy did it. Outside stuff happened, but anyways, he was talking about this video, and of course, I had a video which I explained it, and I said it was between two PS4s, and of course, somebody removed, somebody made the other PlayStation, the primary one. And, of course, you can remove the uh, PlayStation 4 hard drive, by the way. The Xbox One, you can't. But, anyways... <laughs> you are that desperate, huh? And it gets worse, because one of those videos was actually one guy named Stone Fox Media, who actually kind of lied to his entire fan base, talking about, yeah, this guy actually did a video and proved that he was wrong, and I, I actually knew it too. I this did. Guy. Honest. Please believe me. <laughs> I'm like, really, dude? If you really knew what I did, first of all, you wouldn't need a video. Number two, uh, you wouldn't need the other guy's video. Number two, and more importantly, the video was wrong anyway. Like, I forget who uh, the other guy's name. Yeah. My video was actually more on the dot, my previous video. Like I said, it involved several, two PS4s, but it, it involved hacking, apparently. And somebody removed the, used this PlayStation as a primary PlayStation, and, of course, blocking out the other PlayStation. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to find out his name real quick here. The other guy's name is... Give me a sec. Like I said, there'll be some skipping around, and that was just nonsense. Really that. Stuff. But there's other videos that I've done as well, um, the troll, you guys, such as my um, a video that got around 7,000 views right now called the 100%... That's him celebrating his trolling. That he refused. If he's not... And he's basically trying to say he's not a troll, but yet he's admitted to be in a troll factual evidence that Titanfall is coming to the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3. Oh, I bet you it will. We've all made that uh, guess. And EA, if you haven't checked the recent news on uh, Titanfall, uh, they pretty much regret not putting Titanfall on the PS4. 
That's not a joke. Look it up. Just saying. Like I said, nah. I don't. I actually enjoy starting shitstorms because you guys are so fucking easy. Let's go ahead and go to the tape. Let's all start. But. Oh, yeah. The Facebook video. But before we get to the Facebook video, I forgot to put one little extra bit of information. The reason why I said there uh, that they have regrets of not putting Titanfall on the PS4. VGN charts. I know it's not 100% accurate, but it's pretty much close to what it is. Titanfall, which used to be number one, was booted down to number five. Why Infamous and Metal Gear Solid Ground Zero, which a lot of people seem to hate, we're both booted up to number one and two, along with Final Fantasy X and X2 for the PS3. And of course, Ground Zero for the PS3. Titan falls all the way down there, and of course, you got your 3DS, and your Wii U's nowhere to be seen because people are stupid. But yeah, this is why I said. EA has regretted not putting Titanfall on the PS4 because PlayStation is selling like motherfucking hotcakes. Sales charts don't lie. Oh, well, maybe these sales charts because it's, you know, VG charts and they're not exactly 100% accurate, but it's pretty much been estimated to already come out to this, which basically means that Titanfall is a dud. And the reason why was that EA and along with Respawn didn't put enough, well, it's not really the campaign, but let's just say they didn't keep players' interest. But enough of that. Let's go back to the video. Now, this is a Facebook video. Now, he's going to have some interesting things. They're on a Facebook video game group called Gaming Battlegrounds. We're now, here's something funny. I didn't know about Facebook Battleground or any other Facebook sort of console sort of nonsense going on. Why? Because I don't have a Facebook account. Where um, a guy named Nicholas decided to go ahead and post this video talking about his PlayStation 4 and how he's getting his error. For those who don't know, let me go ahead and play the video for you. Here's the proof. So let's try Metal Gear Solid. Let's see what it says. Cannot start application. The PS4 is not connected to the internet and cannot verify the license for the application. Now, it's kind of amazing, really, that, uh... uh I knew about the lockout that was going on because in the previous video, if you can see the tiny little dot there, that's a lock. But... Yeah, let's keep going. Out of nowhere, people seem to want to think that that sounds like me, but sounds nothing like me. But let's move it on. Yeah, there were some people who immediately thought that was Zephyrnix talking. And yeah, that, that was pretty stupid. So the thing is, is that some of the PlayStation fans on here went that shit crazy. One in particular was Brian Hickman, who literally went on an offensive against anyone and everyone who actually looked at the video. As again, I don't have a Facebook account, so I can't really account for that conversation. Just about. It was amazing how this guy literally spent most of his time just literally attacking people and defending this video. I stayed here and trolled him. I trolled the hell out of him. I even gave him a present. And you saying you're not a troll and saying that you weren't a troll, but yet you're meaning to a troll. Hmm. Because, you know, Zaffy's not a bad guy. He gave him a present. But, uh, yeah, this is where it all started from. So right now, I'm kind of stuck in the dilemma here in this particular timeline right now. Now, Zephnix obviously sees this as troll bait. And, yeah, it's been about two weeks before I actually made the PlayStation community cry. So I'm past due. Yeah, this is going to be interesting when I... You're going to bring out certain points. Let me just let you on a little... Uh, secret on what's going to happen. And I'm going to show you something, Zephyrnix, that literally shows this video, the, the video that you were showing, to be 
a troll video. And the evidence was pretty fucking easy. So, yeah, plus the comments in that particular Facebook proved that, uh, yeah, this was dynamite. That being said, the real me, the guy outside of YouTube, was very interested to find out what was wrong with his PlayStation 4. After all, this is what I do for a living. I'm a technical advisor. I've worked for um, companies such as Electronic Arts. I've worked for companies such as... I didn't work for any of these companies, but I was a technical advisor. Um, a as well. AT&T, Apple, I had to find out what was going on. So, here's the thing. In most cases, the way you would find this out is by going ahead and troubleshooting. Now, you can't really troubleshoot if you don't have a PlayStation 4 of your own. I don't have a PlayStation 4 of my own. So I did the next best thing. I went ahead and decided to take the video, post it on my YouTube channel, because I knew that some of my subscribers actually owned PlayStation 4s. I figured if I get an answer, there would be a good place to get an answer. So I wanted to go ahead and make sure that this video was not perceived as a, a troll video. So I made sure I went through, you know, certain levels to go ahead and make sure that it was understood. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying what I did. Anyway, so here's the thing. I made sure I just typed in, wait, does the PlayStation 4 have DRM after all? With question marks. He did that. Exactly. No complaints there indicating that I was asking a question. Not only that, but I decided to put three extra question marks just in case they missed the first one. They missed the first one. Uh, by the way, that's four question marks, not three. Just saying. You probably just miscounted by one. It happens. Now, here's the thing. I made sure I put a clip in there um, of E3 2013, I think it was, where Sony talked about um, DRM. They specifically said no disc-based DRM. So I made sure I put that part in there to make sure I got no kind of confusion whatsoever regarding specifically said no I, sure I put a clip in there um, of E3 2013 I think it was where Sony talked about um, DRM. They specifically said no disc based DRM. So I made sure I put that There's a reason why I replayed that part. Part in there to make sure I got no kind of, I put a clip in there. Um, of E3 2013, I think it was, where Sony talked about um, DRM. They specifically said no disc-based DRM. Now, remember he said that. Um, of E3 2013, I think it was, where Sony talked about um, DRM. They specifically said no disc-based DRM. Now, he said he put a film clip in there saying no disc-based DRM. If you enjoy playing single player games offline, PS4 won't require you to check in online periodically. Offline, PS4 won't require you to check in online periodically. Offline, P if you enjoy playing single player games offline, PS4 won't require you to check in. If you enjoy playing single player games offline, PS4 won't require you to check in online periodically. You guys heard that, right? Thing. I made sure I just typed in, wait, does the PlayStation 4 have DRM after all? With question marks indicating that I was... Now, here's the thing. I made sure I put a clip in there um, of E3 2013, I think it was, where Sony talked about um, DRM. They specifically said no disc-based DRM. If you enjoy playing single-player games offline, PS4 won't require you to check in online periodically. I don't know about you, but if I'm hard of hearing, Zephyrnik said no disc based games online, but the video said no single player video games online. There is that sign in the back, and if you know YouTube, they make these things fucking tiny as hell, that says disc base right there in the background. But what he. It's not Player really there for, offline. and mostly it's just Jack Tritton saying 
most single player games offline. Hmm. 